Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Tufts University Pre-College Informational Webinar on the two-week summer intensive program on international relations. I'm Lexi Chris, the Program Director for the Tufts Pre-College Summer Intensive and in International Relations. And I'm Alicia Rabeck. I'm the Director of Tufts Pre-College Program. So if any of you have logged on to the wrong webinar, there are no hard feelings. Feel free to log off if you need to. And to everyone else, uh, welcome. Uh, we're really excited to have you. We have lots of prospective students and families joining us from all over the world tonight. I'll be doing a brief program overview, and then um, Alicia will be uh, going through the application process itself. And also, just as a note, we are recording this, and we will be posting it online as a resource for you afterwards, and we will send you a link to that in the email address that you provided to us when you registered. So we value your time, your busy schedules. We really appreciate that you joined us tonight. So we're going to be speaking for about um, eight to ten minutes, and then we'll give you all a good ten minutes or so to do some Q&A, and you can feel free to use that chat box to start uh, giving us your questions as we go. Uh, so to start off, the pre-college program this year in international relations will run July 21st through August 2nd right here on the Medford campus in Massachusetts, right outside of Boston. There are our lovely visuals. You can see who we are and follow up later. Uh, like we said, the, we're going to go through the program overview, the student eligibility, a day in the life, and um, how you can apply, and then of course we'll wrap up with a question and answers. Here's the website that many of you have probably seen. If we don't cover anything that you're looking for tonight, in addition to following up with us, you can, of course, refer to the website. It has all the detailed information. And the website address is summer.tufts.edu. And then you just navigate from the top menu to the IR page, and there's a ton of information on this site. And then there's also FAQs, as you can see, in the menu bar. Great. So let's go through the program snapshot. Uh, who can apply to the program? Um, it's students 15 to 17 who are high school, rising high school juniors and seniors with a passion for learning more about and immersing themselves in an international relations curriculum. Um, so all of the you folks are eligible and encouraged to apply. Uh, what is the Tufts Pre-College Program um, Intensive? You can earn college credit. You can study, uh, global imp study globally impactful topics like cybersecurity, negotiation, economics build your foreign language skills, which we'll uh, touch on further, and establish long-lasting friendships. Again, who can apply? Rising juniors and seniors. And who are the instructors? We're really lucky to have faculty and lecturers from the Tufts School of Arts and Sciences and from the Fletcher School, which is our graduate school here on campus. And for those of you who aren't familiar with it, Fletcher is one of the absolute top schools in international affairs in the country, so you have access to um, really amazing expert faculty um, who you might have, for example, seen on CNN talking about current affairs in other countries. And we just want to highlight um, one of the big events that was really popular with our participants last summer. It's a simulation at the Edward R. Kennedy Institute for the U.S. So it's a U.S. Senate simulation on one of the ho hottest topics there is right now, migration and immigration policy. And we'll touch on that a little bit more as we go through as well. So we thought we'd give you a little bit of a day in the life uh, snapshot here. Uh, so this is actually showing you week two of the program as we have it scheduled so far. Uh, but students will wake up from a night of sleeping in the Tufts dorms, which are air conditioned, to enjoy breakfast uh, before heading to their first class of the day, uh, which is their language class. Right there, 9 to 9.30. So for our language selections, uh, this summer we're going to be offering intermediate French, intermediate and advanced Spanish, beginner Arabic, beginner Chinese, beginner Russian, and English as a second language. So we want students to be able to interact with each other and also uh, in their class each day as well as with instructors. And so we'll be um, talking more about who some of these folks will be. Right after that, you'll, folks will head to lunch um, before heading to a, a larger chunk in the day, which are these um, skill-building faculty seminars. Faculty members from the International Relations and Political Science Departments and even the Dean of the Fletcher School will be teaching this summer. They have selected topics they think will be of particular interest to global-minded students and will facilitate classes and guide discussion. So you can see a few of those, historical perspectives in international relations, uh, alliance dynamics, nuclear proliferation, for example. Uh, after those, we will head to a break so that students can, can grab a snack or some water. And then afterwards, um, in the second week, folks will be uh, meeting with their TAs and also working on a research paper. So I'll go over the um, TA discussions uh, first. 
So following the break, students will meet with their graduate student teaching assistants. Many of these students have years of real world experience and are emerging experts in international relations. They'll lead discussions and guide students through any challenging coursework. They'll also be present as students conduct library research and complete assignments. So if we can skip back over here to their research paper, uh, students will have the opportunity to dig more deeply into IR subjects or subfields that really interest them. And by the end of the two weeks, with the help of university librarians, professors, and TAs, students will write and submit well thought out research papers. They'll be a tangible mark of their summer achievement. And it's also the kind of work that gives you really good preparation for future studies in the field, but also just your college studies as well. It is college level work that you are doing and a real introduction to a field that you're all clearly passionate about. Perfect. So what else is planned? Um, over the course of the two weeks, students will have the chance to go on two official college admissions visits on the Tufts campus and the Harvard campus, which is just down the road in Cambridge. They'll also participate in a challenging and interactive Senate simulation at the Kennedy Institute uh, that's pictured here. Students will work together using the latest technology on tablets to attempt to create and pass a cogent bill on immigration. And of course, that is easier than it sounds. So that will be uh, scheduled for Saturday, July 27th. Um, it's an all day event and students will receive um, a group tour there as well. And of course, since it is the summer, we want um, everyone involved to be having a good time, no matter what that looks like for you. So we will have some evening activities planned, and students can look forward to sophisticated evening programming that allows you to engage with international relations and your peers in a different way, whether that's um, subtitled films or a group trivia night will be a lot of fun. And at the end of the program, of course, we have some, some outcomes. We have sharpened language skills. We want you to become pre-college experts in international relations, and you can earn Tufts College credit equal to one course. And at the end of this, you'll be able to request an official Tufts transcript. So we're gonna move into the application uh, stage, and Alicia can give you some information on that. Yeah, so some of you may have already started your application, some of you may have submitted your applications, but we are currently accepting applications for summer 2019. Um, application materials are accepted on a rolling basis, so the program kind of fills as we go along. We are reading and returning decisions um, every day. <laughs> uh, the deadline to apply for the program is the same as for the rest of our pre-college programs, and that's April 1st, but we encourage you to apply as soon as possible because uh, certain components of the program are, are first come, first serve. Um, and what we mean by that is really the, the language placements. The languages will fill up, um, so that's just something to be aware of so, and, and an incentive to get your application in as quickly as possible. Uh, there are residential and commuter options available, so you can live on campus, or if you live nearby and you want to just come for the day, you can do that. And both domestic and international students are encouraged to apply. We love having a really diverse community of students. Uh, please note that there are a few additional application requirements for international students, and we can talk about those during the Q&A if anybody's joining us from another country. Uh, and of course, all the detailed application information is on the program website. So what do you need? What are the application materials that you need? Um, you can see those on your screen right now. There is an online application, which is pretty straightforward. Um, there is a parent permission form. Um, we require a one letter of recommendation and an academic transcript. Now, you can get the transcript to us uh, ideally by email. Just have your guidance counselor um, or your college counselor, whomever you're working with, send your transcript to summer at tufts.edu. Uh, that's our preferred way of getting it, and it's faster. You can also, if you don't have access or you prefer not to do it that way, have them mail the transcript to Summer at Tufts, Dowling Hall, 419 Boston Ave, Tufts University, Medford, Massachusetts, 02155, as you can see on the screen. Um, once students are admitted, if they are studying Spanish or French, they will then receive additional communication from us asking them to complete a language placement exam, just so we make sure that we're putting you, we're assessing your level of proficiency and, and matching that appropriately. Um, Non-native English applicants will be asked to provide proof of English language proficiency as part of the application process. Um, just we want, we want to set everyone up for success. Um, uh, just as a reminder, Tufts pre-college programs are not related to the Tufts undergraduate admissions process in any way. We are an entirely separate entity. 
Everyone on the Free College team, though, is very excited to receive your, your read your applications. Um, and with respect to financial aid, uh, we have limited financial aid available. Um, we're committed to ensuring students from all different backgrounds participate in our summer programs. Um, financial aid will cover between 75 to 100 percent of the cost of admissions. Um, we'll give out a few awards starting in February. We, we start the process rolling then, and we'll continue until all the funds have been allocated. Um, unfortunately, financial aid is not currently available for international students at this time. Detailed information about the application and the financial aid processes are available on the pre-college website as well. And it's all pretty straightforward and you should be able to find it pretty easily, but if you can't, you can always email or call. Um, so we are already energized by the applications we've received. We're really excited about how the cohort is shaping up and we know that it's going to be an amazing summer. Um, we really appreciate you listening to the overview and we're going to open things up to any questions that you might have. Um, because we want to make sure that you get what you want to know answered. So feel free to take advantage of that little chat window and ask us questions. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on that as those come in. Um, Perfect. But um, as, you, as you think and type, um, we're also going to answer a couple questions that we've already received. Um, we get asked a lot about um, uh, the makeup of the student population. We have students from all over the U.S. and we also have students from a whole host of international um, locations as well. Um, the Tufts community is a very diverse community and you are on campus at the same time as students from several other programs, so you really are part of a global community even as you are learning about the global community. Um, the uh, language intensive uh, element in the morning, um, because I've had questions about that, um, is really designed to give you um, either the opportunity to hone your existing language skills if you're taking Spanish or French, but also to um, get a leg up on an entirely new language and a language that's in, in many cases very much in demand um, within the um, IR community right now. Um, like Chinese, Arabic, and Russian we've added for the first time this year. Um, I know I had a question about um, the ESL class. Um, I Just to clarify for anyone who is potentially taking that, that class is not a traditional ESL class because we are expecting students are coming in with a certain level of English proficiency, but rather it is a class that is um, designed to give students more practice in writing at the college level. Uh, the question, so the, uh, I had a question about if the pool is competitive. Um, so how many students typically attend the program? Um, so uh, last year we sure. had, Lexi, if you want There were um, approximately 60 students who attended, and they'll probably be just hovering around there this year, possibly more than that, um, but there also uh, will be eight eight other or eight programs in total happening on campus. So there'll be um, hundreds of, of students who are of this pre-college age who will be around campus as well as um, Tufts undergrads and graduate students who will be taking courses over the summer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and so this is one of our one of our most popular uh, cohort programs where, where you're all sort of studying together in a group. Um, we have a lot of interest from students. We have a lot of some of you may have seen each other at Model UN. There's definitely a cohort of students out there who love who love Model UN and really love le learning about international affairs through that platform. Um, so sometimes it becomes a little bit of a mini reunion from some past Model UN events. Um, other questions um, from those of you who are tuned in right now, otherwise I'll go to some of the previous questions that we had. Um, okay, so living on campus, um, a large, oh, okay, hang on, before I ask, before I get into that one. Um, do we test for language placement to determine advanced or intermediate? Yes, so with respect to French and Spanish, there is, um, you would receive, if that was one of the, if those were the languages that you um, were interested in studying, um, you would receive an email from us asking you to do a brief online placement exam um, so that we could assess your, your proficiency. 
both for placement purposes, but also to give the language instructors a better read on the varying levels of proficiency um, of the students in their class. Because even if you are all intermediate, you could be at sort of different different points in your in your study. So um, the placement exam is a resource for that. And to that point, I was in touch with the coordinator for the language program a couple of days ago, and she said that they really do look at the levels that are coming in based on uh, the tests each summer and will are going to cater the, the, the topics and the levels um, that are necessary based on the cohort that comes in. Um, so it's really catered towards the class that uh, will come in. Yeah, we want you to have the most meaningful experience in the class as possible. So um, we try to customize it as much as we can. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to answering the other question that I was going to answer before Emily's question came in, but if you have additional questions, please keep sending them to us because we will continue to answer for the, for the, um, for the next few minutes. We, have, we do have enough time, hopefully, to get through anything you might want to know in the moment. Um, so additionally, um, with respect to living on campus, you are living in tough storms um, with other IR students um, and students who happen to be here for other summer programs. Um, uh, as part of your, um, what, what you have access to in living on campus. Um, you're living on campus, you're eating in the dining halls here, and then you have access to all of the rest of Tufts facilities. So you have access to the libraries and the gym and the track and the swimming pool and all of those good things. Um, additionally, um, because uh, it's summer and we want you to, you know, we want to make sure you have, have some fun and some, <laughs> some downtime, I know. Lexi had touched on um, the evening activities. Um, so those we really try, we try to make sure that there's an opportunity for you to have fun, but we're also respectful of the fact that um, you have uh, some language homework that you're probably trying to get done as well. Um, over the weekend, um, you will have the Senate Immersion Module on one day, but then the other, the other day in that sort of intervening weekend in the two-week program um, is, is more sort of open, so you might go to Six Flags, or you might go to Treetop Adventures. We have a whole Res Life team that um, gives you a lot of opportunities to just sort of decompress and have some fun during the summer and, and get to know your peers. Um, other questions from the group? Um, anything else that we can answer for you guys in the moment? And uh, just if, if you can't come up with questions now that you know that you're going to have them, you can, of course, always uh, email us at, at summer at tufts.edu or give us a call at 617-627-0609. Um, feel free to direct any general questions there. And then if you have any individual questions, um, please feel free to email me um, directly. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had a, a question here about the student-faculty ratio before we uh, wrap up, and mm -hmm. it's, it's a great ratio. So uh, we really want students to be able to interact with faculty members. And so uh, you'll be broken into groups, and it's 1 to 20, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then that will be the same with your TA groups, your teaching assistant groups as well. So you'll really get hands-on interaction with faculty and with the teaching assistants uh, so that you can answer any questions and really further your research and study in depth in the way that I believe many of you are hoping to this summer. Mm -hmm. And as you saw from the uh, Day in the Life slide, um, you have, uh, you know, you'll have a talk by one of the faculty experts, but then the, the idea is not just to, to hear from them, but really to engage with them. And so it, You've got a, a healthy block of time, and it's really meant to be a space for you to ask the questions um, that you want to ask and, and learn and engage. You know, the, your education is in, is, is in your own hands as much as possible. We really want you to be active participants in your educational experience. And so you have an opportunity during that space to really um, get, get what you want to know found out from all of these experts who are in front of you in a dedicated way for, for a period of time. We're just there to talk to you guys. And I don't know if any of you have had experience in university libraries, but it is really special to be able to spend that time both at the Fletcher School Library, or which is the Ginn Library, um, and the Tisch Library, which is our um, larger library here on campus, um, to really spend some time there and to research and to get to know the librarians as well. Um, they're really beautiful facilities um, with a, a lot of great resources, both digital and paper, to, to be able to access. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it, I mean, one of the nice sort of side benefits of the academic work you're doing, which is college level academic work, is that you really get a leg up on your future undergraduate career. So you're going to leave with the equivalent of a Tufts course worth of credit, 
and you're also going to leave having done writing work and research work at at the level that you would then be uh, at the level that would then be expected of you when you matriculate at whatever college it is you decide to attend. So it is a very helpful experience in that respect and, and has been for a lot of students in the past a real kind of confidence booster that you are ready to go off and conquer the next campus. Other questions that we can answer for you before we wrap up? Any other questions we, that you guys might have? It's always the 11th hour question. If you don't think of a question now and you wish you'd asked it and you want to um, reach out to us later on, um, you can um, you can email summer at tufts.edu. You can also call 617-627-0609. Um, and you can also direct individual questions to Lexi, who is the program director for this program, at the email address on the screen. OK. Well, if no one has any last burning questions, we are going to wrap up for the evening. Um, if there is anything else that occurs to you after the fact, again, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we are looking forward to seeing many of you on campus in June, and thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you.